What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So it is seven o'clock in the morning. I'm just about ready to head out and get a small group session. Should be the same thing, really high level, a lot of pro players. But my friend has arrived now. He's gonna be here for the next few weeks. Here he is. What's up guys? Anthony Lejean. Back on the vlog. What's been I'm going on right. since the last time you've been on my videos or anything? A lot, a lot. Well, yeah, I haven't seen you in what, a year probably, mm -hmm. uh, but I've just been home. I've been in Ottawa, so. I've been working, training, trying to stay as fit as possible during the uh, all the lockdowns and stuff. So, but I'm happy to be out, man. Can't wait to go start training. Mm -hmm. like, my groin after the first session is hurting a little bit, but uh, we're gonna push hard today. So yeah, because we trained yeah. yesterday. So what, what did you yeah. think? No, it was good. It was really good. Like the intensity was really high, and honestly, the players that you brought out were uh, really good quality players. So it's been good, man. Honestly, like I've been enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Like the weather is nice for me in any way. Like there's no snow. <laughs> So it's really chill, man. And big news, you broke a thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel. I did, yes. Yeah, and you do kind of like similar videos and also like more lifestyle and just like other yeah. vlogs as well. Other vlogs too. So I, I like I was telling you yesterday, I kind of want to do a bit of like my whole lifestyle. So uh, I have a lot going on besides footy as well, like with my family and different things that I'm working on. So I just want to show you guys, like I know there's a lot of young footballers watching that like there's, there's a lot more also uh, that's going on in life besides just footy. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love footy, you know, and, and every day I wake up, I want to play footy, you know, that's my dream, but I just want to show a bit of, showcase everything just to make it different. So go check him out, his uh, channel will be in the description, but we are going to get a little training session here, um, probably leave in like 30 minutes. So before we head out to training, I want to introduce the sponsor of today's video, Geology. Geology is a skincare company focused around tailoring an effective skincare routine for your unique skin. It's men's skincare reinvented. All you have to do is go to geology.com and take their online diagnostic test and Geology does all the work to tailor the perfect skincare routine for your unique skin. I'm literally the guy that will use the four in one shampoo to wash my hair, my body, shave, do everything and I know it's not the best. So I absolutely love how simple Geology makes it. Geology does all the work for me, figures out which skincare products are right for my skin and then sends them right to my door. Having the skincare products tailored to my skin is huge for me because I have sensitive skin, so a lot of cleansers and facial stuff can be pretty irritating for my face. So it's awesome to have something that's meant for me. Geology recommended me regimen number 28, which contains the everyday face wash to cleanse the skin, vital morning face cream with SPF to revitalize the skin and protect against the sun, repairing night cream with retinol, and nourishing eye cream to reduce dark circles under the eyes. If you guys are interested in checking out Geology and want an effective skincare routine tailored to you, then click the link in my description and use code ELITE30 for 30% off your first order. Big thank you to Geology for sponsoring this video. Real quick, I just want to introduce everybody in this video. You have probably know most of these guys by now, but starting from the left, we got Rubio Rubin, who just signed a MLS contract with Real Salt Lake, and it was just announced the day of filming this video, so congrats to Rubio. Then you have me, then you have Rowan Schlenelby, I cannot pronounce this guy's last name, but Portland Timbers Academy goalkeeper, going to hopefully commit to a college here pretty soon. And then we have Anthony Lejean, who obviously you guys just met in this video, was with me with the Tulsa Roughnecks back in 2019, so professional player. And then we have Isaac Homer over here, who is a Portland Timbers uh, Academy player as well, and got in about like six or seven games, I think, with T2 this last year. So USL championship level, level player with a lot of potential. Anyway, that's everybody in the session. It's going to be a good level. Hope you guys enjoy it. That's nice. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Good. 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 
two, three, four. Yeah, five. One. Two, three, yeah, four.
Zipper. Are you serious? What was that? I tried to do a little elastic over the wall. There, bitch! Rivia is a He attacks or I attack and then one of you guys defend. Alright. You guys want to attack first? Yeah, I'll go I'll defend first. So now? No, he stays in attack. You defend. I stay in attack? You count your goals individually. Yep, first is ten.
Good shit. Good shit. Can I get the call? Good shit. Good shit. Can I get the call? What did I do to follow you? What did I do to follow you? Yeah, the fourth one, I was, I was like, my heart, I felt like my heart was coming out. Yeah, my high was 175. All right, so we just finished the session. I didn't introduce him, but this is Isaac. Isaac, do you just want to say uh, where you're playing at and what's going on? Yeah, so I play at the Portland Timbers Academy right now, and uh, I'm a senior in high school. So. Yeah. Do you know where you're going after that? Not yet. I'm hopefully planning on committing to a college in, within the next couple months. So. It's yeah. exciting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're just getting back home right now. What would you think of the, the session and everything? The second session was really good. Uh, you guys did a lot of shooting today. I couldn't do any shooting, which kind of sucks, but my groin's still aching a bit, but it was really good. Good intensity, uh, good quality. I like the weather, like here, if you guys can see, like, it's really nice. So really chill weather. I like playing in this type of weather because you can warm up and then you go, so. You're the only person who comes to Portland and says, yeah, I like this weather. I love it, man. <laughs> right now in Ottawa, there's so much snow, so I like yeah, it. Cool. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, let's yeah. go get something to eat and then we'll go work out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just made brunch right now. Eggs, avocado, some spinach in here, and then some hot sauce. Made myself a little smoothie. Got an orange. Anthony's got the same exact thing. Different smoothie though. Yes, sir. Ready to go. Really good smoothies, by the way. Yeah, see, Mimi? Good. Yeah, they're actually, they're actually good. They're actually good. This one, I tried this one yesterday, mm -hmm. and it was pretty decent. The eggs. Yeah. I give you a what, 8.5? Yeah. 8.5 on the eggs, good smoothie. Chef Matt, that's what I'm here for. Chef the Matt. thing is, the difference between the smoothies is, Anthony, are you trying to maintain or lose weight? What did you say? Lose. lose weight? Trying to cut. So like in here is just water, protein powder, and strawberries, and a banana. So it's just fruit and protein pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then here, it's strawberries, banana, water, protein, but there's also avocado, peanut butter, and spinach, mm -hmm. and like extra calorie. Like I put some olive oil in here as well, so there's just more calories. There's probably double the calories that's in that one, but the same amount of protein and everything. Oh, and instead of water, I use almond milk. So just extra calories, everything. So yeah, have some brunch, and then we'll get a quick workout in, and then explore Portland. For today's upper body workout, we started off with a fun little warm up exercise. One person started off biking for a minute straight while the other person did 10 push ups and 10 dumbbell rows. We then would switch and that would be one set. We then repeated that circuit for a total of five sets. We then headed over to the pull up bar and each did three sets of pull ups all the way until failure. I always think that pull ups are the toughest, like the most taxing upper body exercise, so this is why I did them first. And in this first one, for example, I would do 12 pull-ups and then Anthony would go, we'd rest for about 60 seconds. And then again, I would try to do as many as possible for the next set. And maybe I'd only get like nine. I think the next set I got nine. And the set after that, I only got like eight. So pretty quick turnaround, not that long of a rest time and really just going until failure and really making it difficult. Next, we grabbed the 55 pound dumbbells and again, did three sets until failure. So just going, just repping out as many reps as we possibly can with this. Like this first set for this dumbbell chest press, I think I did 20 reps. 
And like I said in the last video, these two exercises, the pull-ups and the dumbbell chest press, make up the bulk of the workout. We're really taxing our bodies here, and the rest of it's not necessarily lighter, but it's not as strenuous or as taxing on the body as uh, the, these first two exercises. We then did a little three exercise circuit consisting of 10 reps of the single arm dumbbell rows for each arm. And then we went 10 back extensions and then 10 single arm shoulder presses while balancing on one leg. For the rows, we used 45 pounds. And then for the shoulder press, we used 25 pounds. And in total, we did three full sets of this circuit. Finally, we finished with just one set of the classic plank. I challenged us to go for a minimum of 90 seconds. The goal was to try to go for two minutes straight, but we had to at least get 90 seconds. If we drop before 90 seconds, if our knees touch the ground or anything, we then would have to redo another set of this exercise again. So just one set of planks to finish off the workout, and that was it. How's it? <laughs> Good? How was the, uh, how's the workout? Match healthy lifestyle. <laughs> Woo. It's crazy. It was good, huh? Yeah, honestly. It's it was quick. Good. It's not too bad because the workout's done quick. Yeah, it's quick. And it's, it's probably like one of my first time working inside. Like, I usually don't work out inside. I don't have like this stuff at home. Yeah. So it's kind of tough. I'll just do push-ups and sit-ups. But yeah. thank you, bro. You. you no know, problem. <laughs> match healthy lifestyle, guys. As you can see, I'm dead, man. Do all the workouts, guys. Put in the work. <laughs> Go up to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, Anthony and I are going uh, going downtown with Mimi. Mimi's just in the car though. But we are going to explore Portland a little bit. We just stopped at a little lookout spot to see Mount Hood. It's pretty nice weather, beautiful weather right now. Really nice. The sun yeah. is out. You haven't seen the sun in, in years, yeah, huh? <laughs> from from Ottawa? Years. No, yeah. It's been a while, it's been a while. It's nice, it's nice. Yeah, it's good temperature. There's a nice breeze up here too. I know, it's, it's perfect. dinner and watch two episodes of Peaky Blinders. Um, we just finished season three. It's amazing. That show's so good. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Peace.